Many of you may have noticed that Chicago's graffiti problem appears to be getting worse while Chicago's graffiti busters are tackling taggers one city block at a time. Morning Insider Lauren Victory gives us an inside look at the unit and the serious progress made with a slashed budget. Iconic Chicago. The Midwest treasure chest of gems that some like to destroy with graffiti. It is affect the quality of life. Enter the troops. This is a big job. Cole Stollard's squad of streets and sanitation workers use weapons small and large in their constant fight to keep our neighborhood jewels clean. In 2018 alone, they attacked 106,683 incidents involving graffiti. We want to give the impression um, that it's going to come down as fast as it goes up. That costs tax dollars, 4.6 million a year goes to this less than 50 person unit, but the blasting budget decreased almost 4% since 2016, in part because of efficiency, says Stollard. It goes into 311 and then we geocode it. This is an example of what comes through the updated 311 system. Complaints are meticulously categorized. We ask if it's on brick or siding. Then assigned in four by four block grids. That brings down response time. It used to take us up to 10 days to get that graffiti down. By uh, gridding it more efficiently, we're getting that down now in three to four days. It's just nice to see it off of the you know building. But barber Joshua Davila notices fresh graffiti at least once a week. It is an eyesore to people that live in the community. Did they tag any of this area? Uh, no, they didn't. It was like right next to it. He's so. a little nervous. This intentional artwork at Who's Next Barbershop could be caught in the crossfire of constantly returning cleanup crews. Graffiti removal workers accidentally painted over a mural paid for by taxpayers along the Polina Brown Line stop last summer. Our people will have a list of all the registered murals. Stollard is owning that mistake and is now encouraging all building owners and artists to get their work on file with the city. In Logan Square, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. And that mural registry went live earlier this month and already contains information on more than 75 pieces of public art.